Salmon King, episode 4, titled, Bestal Place. If that title doesn't give it away who's the main character of this episode, then you haven't been paying attention. Get on that Ryu hype train. It's time for the best boy to find his best place. Yo, I would love to have my hangout be an abandoned bowling alley. Or just a bowling alley in general. Okay. Some kind of flashback. Oh, so he did end up running into Tao Ren. I love that. I love that he actually did run into Ren. <laughs> Pointing, poking at his hair. Like, yo. Ooh. All the disrespect. All the disrespect. I can only imagine how long it takes him to get his hair like that. I feel like that speaks to his hairstyle and how thick it is. Because it always looks so solid when it's cut through. Like, it's just like, boom! Solid piece. Yeah, location, location, location. It went bankrupt because it was too far out. Nobody wants to travel that far. Oh, come on, man. He was trying. No need to punch him. Then again, portrayal of manliness and all that. Oh, snap. Ah, oh, who's this cutie? Just keep in mind, Ryu is 17. So, a four-year age difference, it, it's kind of weird that he's hitting on her like that, but even still. Oh, God. So, like, yo, we're just gonna start stalking some chick. Hmm. I don't remember him actually trying to pay Ryu back for, you know, like, like I feel like they got the payment in full from Monta getting his ass kicked by Ryu's gang for, like, the umpteenth time. Oh, we're finally here. The full body Orson. Yeah, that's like ten bucks. That's ridiculous. Then again, this is like nineteen ninety eight, technically. So, oh yeah, Anna and Yo are straight up living together. It's mostly because their fiancés and all that. Japan. Th th that's what it comes down to, Japan. <laughs> you don't forget an ass whooping like that. <laughs> Ryu, deep down, is a pure soul. Yeah, it's, of course we're not living alone. There's ghosts all over the place. Yeah, this is straight up haunted house. Oh, dude, atmosphere change. Oh, uh, yeah, it, it's straight up haunted by all these dead people. You would not want to live here like a burial ground. Yeah, I would not want... Well, how could you live there with all of them just floating about and you can see them? That's the thing. You can see all of the ghosts there. <laughs> oh, poor Ryu. Just keeps running into Yo and it's just like, Ah, curse him! Ooh, a literal deal with the devil. Like, hey, you want to kill this kid? Just, just roll with me for a little bit. I got you, fam. I got you. <laughs> that is, oh man, that is intense. God, I always love that scene in the manga. It's, but it does raise the question. It's just like, 
Wait, so Ryu can see ghosts now? What? When did that happen? Of course, he comes back to life and now he starts acting like a friggin' big shot. Yeah, of course. Immediately start acting like the worst kind of thug. Yeah, these guys are punks, but they're not thieves like that. They're not bandits, for the most part. Oh! Oh, snap! We actually showed it! Oh, gee. Oh, just straight up stabbed the dude in the leg. Like, yo. And it's a friend who, he punched, but he wouldn't just stab him casually like that. Oh, I'm surprised he already knew all that information. I guess. Oh, yeah, a ghost. He was just kind of spying around. What a friggin' creep! Green gecko bastard! He was just casually passing by. Manta has the worst kind of luck. Yep, and Yo's just pissing. What, what a terrible time. Oh, oh no, not in the bathroom. Oh god, why are you in the bathroom? Dude, he's pit Oh my god, stop being a creep. No. No need to go out and find him. I've conveniently showed up at this location. Like it was just... <laughs> We're just rolling through everything. Yeah, that's some old school like shit. It's just like, you make a wrong move and we will burn your fucking house to the goddamn ground. Like, yo, that is some real old school gangster shit. Yes, the Gecko Tokogero. <laughs> like, who the fuck is you? New, new vessel, who this? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember every fool that I cut down. Like, seriously. Why the shit should I give a damn about you? You're obviously fodder. Oh, jeez, Anna, no. Come on, why would you throw Manta under the bus like that? You gotta question how Ryu's gang is kind of taking this. It's just like, they're just kind of rolling with all this weirdness going on. You can't really kill a spirit. He's already a ghost. You'd have to cut down Ryu in the possible. In the process. Yeah, it's... It's not a wooden sword. That's how you know it's not wooden sword Ryu. Because he has not using a wooden sword. He's using a wooden sword. Spirit Ball Moda. Ito Greto. Come at me, bro. I am fucking ripped. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're literally already jumping. <laughs> Lizard style. Quick draw. Uh, my boy, wooden sword Ryu. Tokogero. The Gecko. The Lizard. I love how the blade is just, like, glowing. Ooh. 
oof, that was literally a close cut. Like, he, he went for the heart, too. Like, I knew I couldn't beat you in a fair fight, so I figured I might as well just go at you immediately. And insult to inj injury, too, to use the dude's very own weapon. Like, what an asshole! Oh god, friggin' tongue thing, too. He Dude must have died of, like, friggin' malnutrition, too. Yeah, I gotta find a way to cut your losses on this one. It's not a great time. Oh shit, 600 years ago. Yeah. God, we never really got to see much of this back in the original anime. Yeah, back when they were just living as orphans because so many people's families would die and all that. Honestly, I wonder what happened to a lot of the other kids out there. Oh, wait. It was Tokugaru who murdered Momosuke's, Mosuke's parents? Dude, I had no idea. I don't remember that being a thing. Jeez. See, I love that even when he was young, he was a skilled swordsman. Like, so surreal. Like, th that's, that's true family, friendship, to give up something important to you for someone else. Like, you're not just carrying your own dreams, you're carrying your friend's dreams as well. <laughs> I felt, it's a terrible day for rain. <laughs> oh, so tragic. Uh-huh. Amitamaru is a man's man. Of course he wouldn't give in to that. Yeah, Butagiri! Take this! Oh, I just... Like, just like that, snapped it in two. Like, that is insane. Yeah, it's like, of course I treasure it, but I treasure actual living people more than that. Like, seriously. Giving up your most prized possession for a friend? Of course. Of course he would do that. Hmm. I love that list. Taking pays for a moment, but giving pays forever. That, that's deep. Like a friendship lasting 600 years? Could you say you have a friendship that would last 600 years? I feel like I'd end up just having a grudge for that long. Freaking butterfly knife, jeez. I guess it says something that Ryu already had a butterfly knife on him. Nice. See, I appreciate that. I appreciate the fact that it's just like, deep down, it's like, no, we're not those kinds of people. Yeah, we're a bunch of thugs, but we don't go around murdering people. We beat them within an inch of their lives. Yeah. Sometimes having friends look out for you means a lot in the end. I love how confused the rest of them are like, like, what the fuck? What is going on? See, that's an easy mindset to go into. Like, you can only believe in yourself. Hmm. Jeez. What a dirty...
dirty way to go. Mm -hmm. Nope. You don't give a damn. You'll screw yourself over in the end. And I'll send you right to hell. I will send you literally to hell. Mm. Tokagara is a hardcore motherfucker. Like, seriously. Okay, well, yeah, Tokugero's actual backstory. In fact, that he was given the flesh of his own mother in order to live. Like, yeah, like that's brutal. Like, to have to go that far. Yeah, it's just like... Uh, I mean, I, I, that, that really tells you how fucked up of a life he had. The fact that his mother literally gave up her own life so that he could live and it's just like th this life that I have I have to protect it at all costs no matter what see I really do love how brutal brutal Anna could be like merciless like fuck this guy fuck this guy I'll send him to hell but yo, yo, he's the conscience. He has the softer shit. He's like, no, don't, don't just send him to hell. He has to find some form of salvation in the end. You know, after 600 years to just have him arrive for all eternity? Everyone has their own reasons. Hell, he already paid the ultimate price. Why not just, why compound that? Like, why not make him a better person? Show him that there can be something better. Ah, uh, I always love this moment. Of course, a Mitamaru would protect him. Like, why would you save scum? Why protect scum? Why do it? He's a monster. He's terrible. Because it's the right thing to do. Oh, jeez. His skeleton form is so intense. Oh. Jeez. That evil aura from Tokigero is so intense. I hate seeing Anna cry. That's the worst. But Anna's not the only one crying. Ultimately, after all this time, he'd never had any form of peace. After all this time. Yes, he did terrible things, but the reasoning behind it, it wasn't terrible. No. You take for granted the things that you have, but you never think about what the other party had to go through. The suffering, the hatred that can fester over time, 
you just become more and more bitter over time and you lose yourself oh jeez uh. god Deep down, there was still somewhat of a good person in you, Togagara. <laughs> and it's just pissed because it's just like, no, your bullshit shonen protagonist bull. <laughs> There he is. The great Ryu has been revived. Hey, dumplings taste better when you share them with friends. Where the fuck did that come from? Oh, oh snap! Yo, Tauren's in his costume. That costume. And the cape. I love the fact that he got beaten once and he just comes back as even more of a batter dude. Uh, it's a shame that it ends there. Uh, I was really digging that down too. I always loved that moment with Tokigara. Where it's just like, you have, you've been shown compassion. That need to press that compassion forward. It's still in you. It's still there. There's still this need for love that's within you because you were shown the ultimate form of love to have a parent sacrifice themselves for you no wonder he held a grudge he clung to life so hard because his mother gave up her life for him and to have that and to lose that now of course he doesn't forgive Amida Maru for taking that life from him but I'm also kind of glad that it resolved in this way. Because, yeah, Togagero died. He paid the ultimate price for everything else that he had ever done. But, do you deserve to continue suffering after that? Why not show him the error of his ways? You know, that That's what prisons are for. And it's hard to say. Who knows how many people he killed along the way. Shaman King really kind of gets deep into that, like... Can a murderer be shown forgiveness? And at what point could, should they be forgiven? 600 years. Suffering and all that? Mm. Next episode, Oversoul. Okay. I wonder what that means. Oh, we'll just have to wait and see. But tell me what you thought about this episode. Toka Garu and his tragic backstory. He was scum, but... He didn't deserve to be sent to hell like some. There was still a sense of love in his heart to a certain degree. Or maybe you'd think that he deserved to just be sent to hell. After everything that he'd done, all the scheming. If things hadn't worked out the way they did with Yo, he would probably would have just continued to go on a rampage. You know, but... You know, that's, that's not... That shouldn't... I like that Yo ultimately wanted to find some sense of salvation for Tokugara's soul. You know, you might not agree with it, but I do feel like that was the best course of actions. Tokugara already died. He already paid the price. He lost the one thing that meant the most to him after already losing the one thing that meant the most to him. His mother, then his life that his mother had given him. So... He, he paid plenty of prices. I don't know, I just, I just feel like to suffer endlessly after death, that's, that's too much. Especially if there's the possibility of you learning your lessons somewhere along the lines. Hard to say. But tell me your thoughts in the comments section below. What do you feel about anything I've talked about here? I'm, I'm interested in the conversation. And if nothing else, tell me what, how you feel about Shaman King so far. You love it? Hate it? Not really digging it? I'm interested to find out how you feel. But until next time, I've been Deuce This Then, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.